Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Hey everyone! Today we are going to be making Nuka Cola quartz for Lyrical Moon Raven's birthday dinner. Actually, if I'm going to be truthful, it's going to be for our Thursday joint birthday dinner because mine is Sunday and hers is today, but I am giving her a little taste of it today to see how we both like it. So, let's get started. First off, we will need pure vanilla extract, two cups of water, a vanilla bean, which was not cheap, at least for me, and two cups of sugar, although I might be making a double recipe. So in that case, you'd only need one cup of water, and I already got two. Hmm. My bad. First of all, we're going to get the water boiling, which is not already, but we are going to have to put two cups of sugar for every one cup of water in our pie. And you're going to want to put two cups of sugar for every one cup of water in your recipe. And I am making, I think, a double or triple recipe at this rate because I have big Nuka Cola bottles to fill. Once the water is boiling, we will start putting our cups of sugar in. And I will need to stir, but once it is all dissolved, I will show you what it looks like again. And this is the simple syrup that we are left over with. I and from there, we will add in our vanilla, which I will get in one moment. All right, first of all, I'll be putting one tablespoon of vanilla in for each quote-unquote recipe of the. Next, we are going to be scraping out very delicately the inside of these vanilla beans that I purchased, which I've honestly never done before, and I'll probably let the um, vanilla beans soak in it a little. I have scraped the vanilla bean into our soda. Well, it's not soda yet, but it's going to boil in there for about 15 minutes to infuse everything. I'm going to stir it up a little better, too. And then we will need to be chilling this for 12 hours. So let's get going. I'm going to put the Nuka Cola quartz into the refrigerator and probably bottle it up when it gets a little cooler in a little bit. And we will continue our video at that point. All right, we let the vanilla syrup pretty much go overnight to chill, and we have our cream and our seltzer water. So we are going to make some Nuka Cola in one of the Nuka Cola bottles for you. First, we're going to be putting four tablespoons of the Nuka Cola syrup from the book into our Nuka Cola bottle. So that's two. Next, we're going to add the one tablespoon of cream that needs to go into our Nuka Cola. And last but not least, the one cup of seltzer water that belongs in our soda. And here you have our filled bottle of um, Nuka, Nuka Cola quartz that is going to go into the refrigerator for 12 hours after I make another bottle of it. And there you have it, two bottles of finished Nuka Cola quartz. Now, we won't be tasting those until tomorrow, but they're ready for the party, and we'll have a video from the party when it happens and we do get to taste them. Anyway, I'll be adding the recipe description, and stay tuned for more joint birthday party dinner fun. This recipe and all the recipes in our joint birthday dinner this year is coming from the Fallout official cookbook. And I'd like to take this time to mention the nerd cooking videos that JPEG and Vault Girl have put together into a lovely little playlist of all the people that can cook in our lovely little gaming community is on their page and I will share it here. Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. 